Hello everyone, for this video we're going to talk about angles formed by secants and tangents but specifically we're going to deal with theorem 114 the intersecting secants interior theorem okay so what is it all about so let us have first our target for this video so i can solve the problems related to the angles formed by secants and tangents from an interior point now, what is a theorem 114? So, the measure of an angle formed by two secants intersecting in the interior of the circle is equal to one-half the sum of the measures of its intercepted arcs. Now, let us have our example. So, here as mentioned for theorem 114, let's say we have this illustration and you are asked to find the measure of angle 1 or else angle 2. So based on theorem 114, so we are supposed to have this formula as mentioned below. So it's one half the sum of the measures of its intercepted arc. As you can see here, for our, let's say, angle 1, what are the intercepted arcs of angle 1? So extending the sides of our angle, so we can see arc AB and arc DC, these are the intercepted arcs of angle 1. And that is what we are going to um, add and then get half of it. And uh, we will be able to know already the measure of angle 1. And for angle 2, same process. What are the intercepted arcs of angle 2 extending the sides of this angle? We would have arc AD and arc BC. So same process. Now, let us have a direct application of this theorem. So here, as you can see, we do have this um, illustration and it is given. So we can actually write our given here in our illustration so that we can easily analyze the data. So if measure of arc BN is 100, so I'm going to put it here, 100 since we have our arc BN here, and we have arc AR, which is 80 degrees here, and we are supposed to find out measure of angle BDN, so this one. What have you observed with uh, the given data? As you can see, we do have uh, our arcs BN and RA, which are considered the intercepted arcs of this angle we are supposed to find out. And therefore, we can directly apply our formula for theorem 114. So we have measure of angle BDN. So... This is the name of our interior angle and one half the sum of its intercepted arcs. And it so happened that arc BN and the arc AR, which are given, are considered our intercepted arcs. So therefore, it would be easier for us to um, substitute it here. So one half our arc BN measures 100 degrees. And our arc AR measures 80 degrees. And of course, we would have sum it up 180 degrees. It's um, both um, constants, so we can add this up. So 180 degrees. And lastly, measure of angle B, D, N is equal to what is one half of 180 is, is 90 degrees. And therefore, we are done so measure of bdn is 90 degrees if you're going to compute it mentally without the solution it's um your choice but if you are required to show your solution you may use this process so 100 plus 80 180 divided by 2 so we'd have 90 so it's correct you may have your checking that way Okay, so for our next example, how about this one? So, measure of arc NBA. So, this time, let's check first. Where is arc NBA? So, NBA. So, this one. This measures 280 degrees. 
Now, if measure of NBA is 280 degrees, what do you think is the measure of the remaining arc, which is AN? So, of course, you are going to go back with the basic idea we have, wherein the total degree measure of any circles would be always equivalent to 360 degrees. So, here in this case, if NBA is 280, so we, we will deduct this from 360 to find out the measure of this remaining arc which is a n so 360 minus 280 so we would have 80 degrees for this okay and next we have a measure of arc br which is 60 degrees given here and this time we are asked to find out the measure of adn and as you can see, we do have our arc AN and arc BR, which are considered the intercepted arcs of the angle that we are going to find out. And that means we can now proceed with our formula. Measure of the interior angle we are supposed to find out is we have ADN here equals one half the measures of its intercepted arcs, which are BR and a n okay so next of course let us substitute measure of arc br is 60 degrees and measure of arc a n is 80 degrees so combining like terms combining this constant so we have 140 degrees and lastly simplify it further by getting the one half of 140 degrees and that is 70 degrees and therefore this is our final answer measure of adn is 70 degrees for checking 60 plus 80 140 divided by 270 so it's correct okay so let us have this another example if measure of arc ae is 95 degrees so let's put it here again so 95 degrees and measure of cdm or oh, this time the ang the interior angle is given which is 115 degrees and find the measure of arc cm oh so this time we are supposed to find out the measure of one intercepted arc since the interior angle is given already so in this case actually this is easy let us just stick on the general formula that we have so measure of the interior angle we are um, focusing this time so measure of angle c d m equals one half the measure of its intercepted arc which is um, AE and at the same time we have our arc CM which are we going to find out afterwards so we have uh, of course we have here our formula so let us substitute the given data since our interior angle is already given so don't worry just substitute it and then one half our AE is 95 degrees plus our CM which is we don't know yet. So here as you can see supposedly we are going to combine 95 degrees with the, the measure of CM, arc CM but since we don't know yet we cannot add them up. So the next thing that we are going to do is let us um, simplify the equation by um eliminating the fraction here which is one half to make it more simpler for us to do the process so let us eliminate the fraction by multiplying both sides by the lcd or the reciprocal of uh, the fraction one half okay so that means so multiply both sides by two okay so we would have uh, this one so 95 degrees plus arc cm times 2 okay so now 2 times 115 so it's 230 degrees 
and then here so we are supposed to multiply 2 to the fraction itself so 2 times 1 half it's 1 and if we're going to have our distributive property 1 times 95 and 1 times cm we would have identical answer which is 95 degrees and cm still and therefore it's not necessary for us to write the one anymore instead let us write only the 95 degrees and arc cm now we don't have the fraction anymore in our equation and next process is let us combine like terms so we have 230 degrees i'm gonna use the shortcut transpose positive 95 and we would have negative 95 and then arc cm so lastly 230 minus 95 that is equivalent to 135 degrees and therefore now this is the measure of our intercepted arc cm which is 135 degrees and now if you're going to check it out 95 plus 135 uh, it's 230 divided by 2 it's 115 so it's correct okay let us have our short um, activity answer this activity and if you are done you may resume watching the video find the measures of angle x and angle y for our first figure so of course applying our theorem 114 we can find out the measure of angle x so add up 37 degrees and 105 degrees divided by 2 we would have x equals 71 degrees okay and how about for y we can apply here linear pairs and we all know linear pairs are considered supplementary therefore if angle x is 71 we will just simply deduct this from 180 and we would have 109 degrees for angle y and the next figure we do have here for angle x we do have um, intercepted arcs 50 and 70 therefore we can apply our theorem 114 we add it up 50 plus 70 120 then half of it is 60 degrees so x is equal to 60 degrees okay next we have for our y so what have you observed with our angle y this is an angle form at the exterior point of our circle therefore here we are going to apply the concept on theorem 112 okay 112 we're in to find the measure of this angle form at the exterior point of the circle since we do have this two secants so we are going to get one half the difference of its intercepted arcs so what are the intercepted arcs of angle y so we have arc ar and the arc tg so just simply subtract 50 minus 24 we do have 26 and half of 26 is 13 so therefore y equals 13 degrees and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching see you on our next video lesson